Hey, what's up? It's the Wing Chun Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to defend yourself against a. Okay, so let's show you how to do just what I did. There's four steps. Let's break it down. Choke is coming in. First thing you want to do is grab them and pin them to the chest and drop your weight. All right. So do it again. It's choking. The pressure is coming this way. You're forcing me backwards, right? So I won't be able to use my power to do what a lot of other self-defense people tell you to do, which is to kind of break these arms off. It's impossible. He's 300 pounds. How am I going to do it? His arms are too strong. So what I need to do is I need to drop back and sink my weight off, uh, sink my weight on his hands, and then wiggle. And see how his hands start to slip off my, uh, my throat and relieve the pressure, right? So he's pushing this way. I need to make it go down and wiggle so that it relieves the pressure off my throat. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is once you got him in this position, do a distraction. Kick him in the balls, okay? Stomp him in the knee, or stomp him on the fourth step, in step, I mean. And, or you can kick, knee him in the chest if he's closer, or you can punch him in the face, poke him in the eyes, okay? You need to distract, okay? So he's distracted, okay? Now, you want to keep hold of this hand, and then slide the other hand across your chest like this, and turn it, and grab hold of his index finger. At this point, use your whole body to bend the finger back, okay? Be careful with this because you can easily break someone's finger. And it's really useful against really big and strong opponents because their finger is only this big and your body is this big. So you're putting your whole body weight onto a little joint, okay? So you can easily break this off like this. Okay, once you got him in a position like this, finish it off by doing a nice hammer strike to the back of the head or back of the neck using the edge of the arm or fist here. Boom. And back off, check your flanks. Okay, one more time. Let's show you how to do it. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. I'm already out, checking my flanks. All right, so you should be able to deal with this within five seconds. Use counting so that it trains your mind to do the steps in order, all right? Because the mind can get confused in the uh, scary situation. So when you're training, count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, when you're doing the training, it conditions your mind to do it naturally and without even thinking. All right, so hope you like this video. We'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching my lesson on how to defend yourself against a choke. Thanks to my good friend here, Harakin Singh from the East, helping me out on this video. So chokes are usually done by people who are insane or have a crazy mentality and they're very aggressive and they want to kill you, okay? Their intent is to kill. So on a scale of one to 10, what is that on the scale of force and scale of danger? It is actually a 10, all right? So you're allowed to use moves that are more lethal, all right? So joint manipulation, hits to the back of the head are okay in this situation, all right? Um, but you take responsibility for your actions, I don't. So just be careful in training and careful in use. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you get the latest and coolest self-defense techniques and martial arts training. Just subscribe here and check out some of my other videos here too. All right, this is Wing Chun Kid signing off. See you soon.